Hallo. Testing. My heart will rejoice in my salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful to me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We celebrate today the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother. Stepping from the sacred heart of Jesus, we find ourselves in the home of Mary, our mother. And so to prepare our hearts and minds to celebrate this Eucharist, with a contrite heart, we examine ourselves. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, you who prepared a dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, graciously grant that through her intercession we may be worthy temple of your glory. Through your Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Their race will be famous throughout the nations. Their descendants throughout the peoples. All who see them will admit that they are a race 
whom the Lord has blessed. I exult for joy in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. For he has clothed me in the garments of salvation. He has wrapped me in the cloak of integrity. Like a bridegroom wearing his wreath, like a bride adorned in her jewels. For as the earth makes fresh things grow, as a garden makes seeds spring up, so will the Lord make both integrity and praise spring up in the sight of the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in your saving help. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bowels of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labor for bread, but the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children now, but the fruitful wife bears no more. My, my heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. It is the Lord who gives life and death. He brings men to the grave and back. It is the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He lifts up the lowly from the dust. From the dung heap, he raises the poor. He sets them in the company of princes. He gives them a glorious throne. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed is the Virgin Mary, who treasured the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Every year the parents of Jesus used to go to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up for the feast as usual. When they were on their way home after the feast, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem without his parents knowing it. They assumed he was with the caravan. It was only after a day's journey that they went to look for him among their relations and acquaintances. When they failed to find him, they went back to Jerusalem looking for him everywhere. Three days later, they found him in the temple, sitting among the doctors, listening to them, and asking them questions. And all those who heard him were astounded at his intelligence and his replies. They were overcome when they saw him. And his mother said to him, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been looking for you. Why were you looking for me? He replied, Did you know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? But they did not understand what he meant. 
He then went down with them and came to Nazareth and lived under the authority. His mother stored up all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. We celebrate the memorial of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It is interesting when you look at the church calendar in the liturgy of the church, the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary is always seen side by side and it's always celebrated one day after the, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. You find this in many artworks in many icons and many images of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, you will always find the Immaculate Heart side by side in the artwork. And what is interesting when you look at those beautiful artworks or these images, you'll find that the Sacred Heart of Jesus is always filled with a crown of thorns. And the Immaculate Heart of Mary is? <laughs> it's always with a sword that is pierced. That's how you look at the beautiful image of this beautiful sacred heart of Jesus in the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It's always placed side by side, one with a crown of thorns and the other is pierced with a sword. Yesterday, uh, we found ourselves looking at what I call the divine love, the divine mercy of God, the divine outpouring of God of this divine love, the sacred heart. And the invitation yesterday was to see how this love was portrayed or colored in the image of a shepherd, one who seeks for the lost, who, one who seeks for the one who is missing. The outpouring of the life to lay down that life, that divine love is always for the greater glory of humanity. And I invited you how to see you could mirror that divine love. That divine love is seen today in what I call the human love. The divine love is seen in Mary who sees it in the human love. And we ask ourselves today, how did Mary look at this human love? You need to step into the mystery of Mary's life, into the heart of Mary's life. From the moment of the mysteries of the Annunciation to the Visitation to the finding of the Temple in today, every part of that journey of Mary is always about the human heart. The human heart is only about one thing, God at work. That is all. The human heart is to see how God's goodness is at work every moment of our life. When Mary was given this title, Immaculate, it comes from the Latin word macula. Macula means stain, wound. Immaculata means without stain. It means pure of heart. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. That is how Mary lived that life. Faithfulness to that heart of God, in the goodness of God, in that mystery of God. She lived it faithfully to the end. But the most beautiful thing about Mary is she treasured it and she pondered it in her heart. As the gospel narrates to us, she treasured it and she pondered it in her heart. The goodness of God was at work in her heart. We ask ourselves today in a very personal way, how is this goodness of God in my heart? How is this work of God in my life at this moment? How is this treasure of God in place in my heart today? And how do I ponder them every moment of our life? Let us ask the Lord for the grace today. As we mirror the immaculate heart of Mary in our hearts, we see the goodness of God, we see the mission of God, we see God entailed in our life every moment. Let us ask Mary to intercede for us as we continue this great work of God in our lives.
Bless the Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands of made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and the offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, that they may be pleasing to you, and they may, may confer on us your help and your forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to praise, to bless, to glorify your name as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. And without losing the glory of virginity, she brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heavens and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we exalt. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending forth your Spirit, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we pray the Our Father this morning, I invite you to pray for Lionel and Vicenta who will step into the sacrament of matrimony. May the Lord be with them and strengthen them as they begin the journey of a married life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins upon the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. Allah for that peace to one another. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart.
Let us pray. Having been made partakers of the eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of your Son, may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to remember to pray for the reposal of Michael Theo Tancock, whose funeral will be celebrated at 12.30 this afternoon. Remember the members of the family. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Prayer for the Synod. We stand, we stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed weekend and stay safe. Same to you, Father.